Every time I see a capital producing a Corsair in one turn, oh, a Kashyyyk in one turn as well. It's lovely to see. Also, look at the size of this Mongolian horde. <laughs> <laughs> when I said I was bringing reinforcements, I was not lying. Here is my spy. Here is my spy. Okay, I would like to get the additional... Yeah, uh, yeah diplomatic visibility. We will get promoted spies soon. Don't you worry. Don't you worry. It'll happen, but I'm just... I'm waiting until I get my second spy. Then I'll have a bit more flexibility. China is now down to two cities, by the way. We have almost done it. We have almost done it. Oh, this is still so frustrating, though. China keeps killing a Kashyyyk pretty much every turn. And it's purely because these crouching tigers seem to be spawned every other turn. It's like, ugh, stop it. Will you just learn when you have been defeated? Actually, I want to kill that thing before it runs back into the city. So can we just get this kill, please? Thank you so much. It's useful. And oh, I can kill the boat as well. Oh, lovely stuff. And I can get the walls down as well. Oh. Good. Man, this is dragging on. Home by Christmas, I said. That's what I said. I meant it. I am going to start building a couple more cities along the trade route, just because I know the routes already go through it, so if I have a trading hub there, that'll be pretty nice. And I reckon there would be an amazing little spot. Perfect. We'll, we'll drop the settler off there, make a new city, be able to get a trade route right over to Scythia. Oh, look, another drought. Another drought. Oh. I, honestly, the game is just like, this is the drought location. Crazy. We got 134 era score out of 54 there. I feel like I did an okay job. And I was expecting everyone to be in a golden age there. But they're not. Crazy. Okay, fine. Well, we've got a golden age for a long time. Being able to buy things with faith would be cool. But I really want to be building more of my unique faith units. The ones from Liang. So I don't want monumentality. Plus, I always go for that. So I, I kind of want to do something a little bit different today. Hicksunk Draconas. Now that that would be something that would be a lot of fun if the continent split is right. So my capital is on Central Asia. This all counts as Central Asia. Okay, but this doesn't. This is the Tibetan Plateau. This is East Asia. Ah, okay. Yeah, you know what? Sod it, we're going for it. I'm going to actually get Hicksong Draconas. We're going to start settling all around China, unifying it, making it beautiful. Like I'm massively producing these settlers and they're really cool at the moment. I also don't need feudal contract and chivalry anymore. I am building units so quickly that it's just not, it's not needed. Trust me, conscription, that'll just save me a little bit of gold per turn. Let's instead, in fact, I don't even need natural philosophy because I'm pillaging most of my science. So what I'm going to do instead is go for serfdom and I'm going to go for colonization and we're going to start spreading out and just making sure that we have everything in my land. Yeah, this is what I mean. Universities. Get some universities in now. It's about time I got a government plaza as well. So actually, not government plaza, diplomatic quarter. I'll do that first and then I'll get the university sorted. So here is the city. Let's just found that. Unfortunately, this is going to be the last one I'm settling on my own continent. But if I'm lucky, this trade route... Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Look, 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 look. It goes round. It goes round. It goes round. It goes all the way to that. Okay. I am going to do a brief stop off on Kaula because I believe this is going to be an amazing trade route for me. Oh, it skips one city. Come on. Anyway, but all of my trade routes go through this city. So that plus six culture is more like plus 15 also. So I'm going to do that quickly. Plus 17. That was worth. Okay, perfect. The next trade route I'm going to do is going to be to this city, then this city, and then I'm going to start trading with Saivia. Don't worry, we have a lot of trading hubs appearing. It's all good. So what I'm doing is I'm splitting my force into four separate hordes. We have the Northern Horde, the Central Horde, the Southern Horde, and then a Chinese Horde that's just sort of mopping up down here. So far, it's doing good. Oh, would you stop settling? Literally, China are playing with me right now. They keep settling every time I think they're done with, you know, I'm done with them. They, they would just put another city down and it's the most hilarious thing. Yeah, this is exactly what I was talking about. It's just like, I'm going to send out Sattlers now. Sattler, Sattler, Sattler. Oh, I hate pikemen. Pikemen are so annoying. Where am I going to focus my Sattlers? What I'm looking for is bunches of luxuries, of strategic resources, of places that are going to be really good for me for preserves. Like, for instance, there is a magnificent preserve that I could put, say, there. Like, all of these mountain tiles and all of these rivers are providing huge appeal. 
I want to take full advantage of those whilst I can. Like, I mean, look at the average appeal of the tiles around here. Oh, beautiful. Well, I guess I'm sort of morally obligated to build it. Okay, if I can kill that pikeman, then I can steal the settler, which I can. Lovely. This city is pretty much terrible. I'm not going to worry about it too much. We're going to take China out, but I took the settler. That's it. We did it. We unified China. It's all under the beautiful Mongol banner. Lovely. And with that, we can now turn our attention to the West. Instantaneous teleportation of Great General, you say? Huzzah! Now at this point, I could turn my attention to the South. We could be taking out Indonesia. We could be taking out India. I don't feel like that. I'm going to just now go east. We're going to go bum, 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 bum. I'm going to make our way into Europe as soon as we can. It's a long way. And oh my boy, there are some huge targets here. 2,000 military strength. Macedon, 1,600 for Greece. Byzantium's got 1,000. Carthage has got 1,000. Persia's got 1,000. Ugh. Yeah, this is, this is going to be quite the project. Sometimes you just have to go, Kashyyyk, just make your way there and don't talk to me until you're there. Like, it might take you 15 turns, but right at this point, I don't have time to micromanage you. So, off you go. That is one more trade route. I got a great merchant, the one that gives me an extra trade route, and city-state trade routes give me tea faith. I don't care about the city-state trade route. What I do care about is just the trade route. Lovely. Oh, Trade Hub Alpha is going to be the absolute best place to be. Oh, Saivia has denounced me. I mean, they're just in time for me to declare a formal war on them, which is lovely. Normally that means that the Greece period has cooled down because the AI tends not to do anything in that time. Military emergency? Don't do that. No, 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 no. Actually, there is a city-state emergency. I'm going to vote up on that one. That's going to be ridiculous. But if I jump in on that, it's going to explore pretty much the entire map for me. Wait for the biggest lag spike the game has ever sent my way. Here we go. Dead Sea found. Pamakale, found. Gobastan, found. And look at all these people. Gorgo has been found. Egypt has been found. Caesar with over 2,000 military strength has been found. Gaul has been found. Hungary has been found. And the military emergency against me failed. Yeah, to right it failed. Oh, and here we go. The map has been revealed. So, Saivia very much stuck in the desert. They are, a, well, I guess, like a sort of obstacle on our way to Europe. Persia, I'm probably going to have to kill Persia as well in the same way. There's Gilgabro. Oh, Gilgabro. No, I'm going to have to kill you too. Luckily, the alliance level won't get to two, so that's okay. Then we've got Phoenicia has settled pretty well. They've got some really annoying settlements using their no loyalty ability, which is pretty cool. Egypt, very much stuck in the middle here, but they are settling across uh, Africa quite well. Arabia just, I mean, they have a terrible start. Byzantium are doing more settling than conquering, but it looks like they have at the very least taken over the Ottoman capital, so fair play. You have the right to call it Constantinople if you want. It's even in this sort of rough place. Of course it is, it's TSL. Why am I surprised? I don't know. Greece? Wow, it looks like you've got Athens and Pericles on the islands and then Gorgo on the mainland, although they've settled onto Italy. Interesting. Rome looks more like, I guess, the Papal States? Gaul have both Corsica and Sardinia, as well as some of the French mainland, and then Hungary is having a game. Oh yeah, look at that. Very much enjoying the lack of Germany and Poland on this map. Okay, we have a lot of targets. And like, look, look at the distance we have to get. I mean, we are a long way away. The distance between me, like China, and my furthest city is a third of the distance to Rome. Oh, hang on. Just so that we know. There we go. Target symbol on Rome. We will never forget. I mean, there's not even a superly awesome railroad, is there? Because we've got to... It's, it's a long way. It's a long way. There's no direct land connection as well because of this map. We physically can't build a direct railroad. So what I'm going to say, and I believe that I think you'll all agree with this, if I build a railroad up to Constantinople and then across this Turkish gap, that counts. That feels... That feels cool. So now that we have reformed church, time 
the Wars of Religion. Nice extra plus four combat strength there as against anybody with a religion. I mean, that's, I mean, it's awesome. It's really good. I'm also going to do a spot of trading with everyone whilst they are my friends. People will, I mean, they don't even know about the absolute disgusting things the Mongolians have been doing. It's always been China. It's always been a single China. I don't know what people are saying. Ignore the lies, ignore the bloodied 2,500 strong army. It's, it, it's, it's got nothing to do with anything. Also, I'm gonna just sell hordes of strategic resources to the continent, just basically to sow anarchy. Like, if you want arms, if you want weapons, Mongolia is the place to come. I will sell you anything you want as long as you use it on each other. Deal. Also, Egypt and Hungary were just willing to offer friendship, so I'll take it. Always take the friendships while you can. I'm ages away, ages away from, like, appearing in this land, so we'll just take the alliances where we can. So the next trade route I want, if I just put the culture focus on the top, you can see, oh yeah, my trade route, to the, 5 food and 13 production for that trade route to the capital. Oh, I can't hang around though. We've got to send it to this city, and you can see it's got 1, 2, three, four, five, six, seven, eight trading hubs on the way. Nine with that one as well. So that's good. And now we've got a trade network to there. I need to do one more trader into this city and then a second. So we need two more traders total. We've got a commercial hub being finished there. I've got this harbor, which I'm about to just rush a little bit. Like so, now I can get the lighthouse and I believe I'll be able to get the trader next turn. Anyone want some books? Honestly, I, I, I haven't got around to reading them yet. There we go. There's the money we want. Doesn't matter. Look, I mean, my, I get so much culture from my trade routes, I'd rather just have those. Look how much easier, by the way, the techs are now that I've moved out of the medieval era into the Renaissance era. This is the Historic Ages mod just changing everything a little bit. It's brought the cost of the Renaissance text down. Industrial era is still really, really high. So we've got to play the game for a lot longer until we can get to steam power, but it's still pretty good. World Congress time. Um... I mean, it's all good, really. But I'm going to put my vote on for city centre buildings again, and please vote for my religion, United China. It's a great religion. Oh my lord, it worked. Oh, and harbour buildings. Hey, I'll take that. That's awesome. Oh, 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 oh. I can already send a trade route there. Okay, do I just skip over this city first? I think, I, I mean, I want to declare war as soon as I can. Maybe I, if I go to this one, then I can immediately skip over that and send a trade route there. I mean, I can, you know, when I declare war, I'll get the trader back and I can always send it back to that one eventually. Yeah, you know what? Sod it. Let's do it. Trading hub. Done. I now have an 18 intel on a pavement's movements. Now that will come down because I, I think I've got open borders, so that's going to be plus 12. But still, that's awesome. Oh, this is the best bit. Byzantium has a religion. Eastern Orthodoxy. Yes, I'm so sorry I stole Crusade from you, but, you know, what can you do? University of Sankor! Now, it's not going to be very handy. Don't get too excited, because I'm not really trading with my capital. I'm using my trade routes outwards a little bit more, but it will give an additional plus one thief to the city, and it will give the source of being some merry, merry times with his comments, so, you know, it's worth it in the end. That is machinery, though. Now, Kilwa. Kilwa, Kilwa, Kilwa. Now, that would be an amazing thing for me. I'm pretty sure that's a lake, isn't it? Yeah, so I can't build it in my capital, but I could build it somewhere else. I just need to find a city with decent production. Trade Hub Alpha. Already. Trade Hub Alpha. Bringing it in. Yes. Okay. Kilwa, do it done. Let's get you absolutely merrily sorted, I say. Perfect. There's another market. There's another market. Oh, 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 yes. Let's get one more trader in Trade Hub Alpha. It's going to be good. Oh, the aqueduct's useful, but I really want Kilwa, and I want Kilwa as quickly as possible, please. Oh yeah, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. So I've already got a trade route in this city, but now I can plonk a trade route into like Isiak or something? This is looking a lot better, a lot better. Oh, I love it. Let's just keep doing this. What I'm doing is I'm actually keeping track of which cities I have trade routes at by marking them. And then I know that I need at least one in every civilization that I'm fighting. That's, that's the idea anyway. Okay, I believe this is probably going to be the last trade route that I send. I could send one to one of these two cities, but this one's been founded for me. I can just sort of swarm around it and leave that one alone. 
That could be a fun thing to do. So yeah, off goes the trade route. Lovely, I'll put the marker down. Lovely, and then my military ally. Do you want to go to war with me? How have you not met Saivir? Who? What? Oh god, they've barely met anyone. Yeah, fair enough. Hungary will take a joint war though. Okay, yeah, cool, that's fine. Well, fingers crossed it's going to be one of those sort of no harm, no foul issues because nobody actually knows the person I'm at war with. Georgia will join in. Of course they will. Okay, this is going to be a harder war than one we're used to. Saivia has no religion at the moment, so I'm thinking wars of religion. This may be a bit of a useless card for now. I haven't spread crusade. I don't want to get into the habit of needing crusade every time. But, you know, if it gets too bad, we'll we'll do something. In come my units. We're going to swarm in immediately. I have a plus 12 combat strength on them at the moment, which is pretty tasty. And my trebuchets are going to make short work of this encampment first. And then whilst they do that, the rest of my units are just going to run in. This is going to be a little bit of sort of shock and awe, I guess is the best way of describing this. Oh yeah, like that, perfect. Just stealing builders, stealing settlers, getting good attacks in on units as well. My Kashyyyks are going to specialize and focus on getting hits on troops first. 50% chance of capturing enemy. That's a chance I'll, oh, not quite. Oh yeah, this is, this is the sort of thing I wanna do. If I can steal units, oh, that'll be good. So I need to be careful because my knights still take damage, but the thing that is really, really good fun is that every time I get a kill, as long as I'm within 10 tiles of a holy site, which is quite a few cities, I am still getting my faith bonus from my uh, pantheon, which is really fun. Right, that's the encampment taken care of, which is a lovely thing. We'll bring my trebuchet through, my great general through as well, and bam, we'll start attacking the city. And now the best bit about these trade routes is that I can send them pretty much anywhere I want, and I can send them through Scythian land, which is really fun. And I don't have to worry about them being pillaged, because by the time they get to the front line, like, 30 turns will have passed, or something crazy like that. Like this, this route here to Tarsus, that's 182. 182 turns, like, that is never gonna happen. So I can just sort of send them off, and then not worry about them ever again. First though, I was going to send a route back to my own city, just so that I have the trading hub there. And then, yeah, let's go to Tarsus. And from there, Kabul. Yeah, it works as a good trading hub, doesn't it? I'm not going to take it over because it's my friend, but it's nice to have. I've taken my first Scythian city though, so it's only a small little one, but it's it's fun. Uh, rebellion in five turns. Right, where is Victor? You're still over in China. No, 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 no. Off you come, to the front line. Time for a little more pillaging, you say? Well, okay then. Let's go pillaging, pillaging. We've got a uh, thousand spare gold as well, so I'm just going to treat myself to a cheeky university just to get the printing boost. Oh, that's going to be six extra combat power. Six. Oh, you can't make this stuff up. It's just too good. I think we've pillaged pretty much everything in the city now, so we'll just, yeah, I'll finish, we'll finish it off. Bit of a night attack. Don't even need siege equipment. Well, actually, I do need siege equipment. I've got trebuchets there, but I don't need much of it. Oh man, we stole so much from this city-state as well. It's really, really good. Do I want to kill the city-state? Do I want to kill it and keep it alive? I could, in theory, take it over once Tamiris has been knocked out because I am actually the leader there. So you know what, I'm gonna keep it alive. Yeah, fair play. Diplomatic service, one extra spy. Oh yes, okay, we're gonna put in Machiavellianism as well to make spy operations take a little bit less time than before. And Wars of Religion, we decided that card was pointless. So instead, I think we're gonna go for craftsmen, just give me a little bit more production. We've got builders, we've got settlers. I mean, all of this stuff is still really, really good. We we could afford to switch to a lot of different things, to be honest, but what we've got is fine. Right, naval tradition. Oh yeah, this is a really quick one for me now. We'll do that, and then we'll do medieval fairs after that. And then it's a case of working out what we want to do after that point. Probably, I would say, be landing towards nationalism, but I might be wrong on that, because that's 10,000 culture for that. Oh, yeah, we'll see. I think that might be a little bit OTT. So interestingly, we've reached a little bit of a dead point on my trade routes. I can't really get any further than this for now. But don't worry, 
we will do that pretty soon. I'm just thinking, is there anything I can do to give myself another trade route? Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to send one in the opposite direction to build a road through this bit. Really, really annoying having to move units through this all the time. Yeah, there was a market I could do. Good. It was a bit overkill that, but I just, as I say, I want a road. I want a road. I really, really want a road. Perfect. The best bit about taking on Saivia and all of the city-states in this area is it's so much gold. Oh, like honestly, filthy levels of gold and pillaging from science as well. Mm hmm. Okay, what wonderful trade routes can I pull off? This one is, oh, very good. And that one is just as good, but it's going to trade Hub Alpha and I like the joy of that. So yeah, let's do 152 turns to finish that trade route. <laughs> Really, all I want is just the road between this bit. Like, once that's done, oh, beautiful. This is very fun. Just surrounding cities with hordes of knights. I don't need to really do anything in a rush as well. Just pillage, pillage, pillage. Everything that I can pillage will get pillaged before I move on. There is no rush here at all. And as mentioned, we're going to take these two cities and then I'm going to go one, two, like that. This knight has a special job. I, I need you to go down into this direction. I need to swing you around there and I want to find whatever's in the land between these two Persian settlements. If I can sort out this, bust the fog of war, without declaring war on Persia, which is the tricky thing, then my traders will be able to pass through and I can start trading into Turkey and into Europe. It's a big task that, but Persia is the key. Okie dokie, spy, 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 spy. Where am I going to send you? Somewhere I'm not going to attack for a long time. Gaul, Gaul might do, Gaul are the tech leaders. So we're gonna go send you to Gaul. We'll go to Gaul's capital. Loads of different projects we can do there. Perfect. No tech boost to steal. Okay, fair enough. But formant unrest is an option. Okay, we won't see you for a little while, but I'm going to level that spy up to level three and then hopefully they will be super useful for me. Oh, look at that trade route. Five food, 13 production, two science, eight culture, one faith. We've got to get at least one University of Sankor route going, haven't we? Just one. That is everything pillaged in this city now. So you know the drill. A one attack, a two attack, a three attack, a four attack, and like that. Doesn't matter how strong the walls are when you have this much attack strength. Or oh, anything is possible. And we can attack this city at the same time, in the same way. Look at that. Beautiful stuff. There it is. Kilwa. Three envoys when built. And I get 15% to all troop building in every city. In 30% in the city I just built it in, which is Trading Hub Alpha. This, like, I'm predicting it now. I think Trading Hub Alpha is going to get to about four, 500 production by the end of this game. Like, I'm not even joking. It's going to be a little bit crazy. I've got five envoys now though. Oh, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to take the letter. He <laughs> he As another military city-state and I can now faith purchase in things into my cities. Now, okay, one of the big problems I've got is I'm still looking for a barracks. I suspect that there are going to be stables in most of Saivia cities yet. There certainly are. <laughs> no surprise there, but still always a good one to look out for. I just need one barracks and then then my units, then my, my uh, what are they called, Niangs are going to be super cool. But that's those two cities taken. Yay! Oh my word, my horde is just so big. <laughs> I'm actually going to have to give them a little bit of a break and just let a couple of units heal. Not because I really need to, momentum is key, but just because I've got so many units, I'm like, I'm struggling to move them all every turn. Oh, plus, I mean, can you see what's going on here? Saivia were like, you know what, Ursa? You don't have enough troops. Do you want me to just lend you a couple? And I'm like, yeah, go on then. That sounds lovely. 59% chance of capturing. That's a good chance. Get another one. 47% that time? Nah, never mind. But still, almost. I'm still settling a bunch of cities, by the way. Five population every time I settle because of the mode I'm on. Oh, it's lovely. Just going to remove that tile for a second because I think a preserve. I like, especially down south where the, you know, all the terrain is so varied and mountainous. Like a preserve to start with is a really, really solid choice. Because once that's down, all of my cities have like six really good improved tiles for them to work. Ferris Colosseum. 
You're going to see a bunch of wonders. I've been building wonders in my smaller cities because they've kind of not been able to do much. If I build horses, it takes about 15 turns to get to the front line until I get railroads. You know, it takes a while. So I was like, yay, Colosseum, happiness, amenities. Why not? Oh, I finally got a second great general as well. Joan of Arc, down onto the front lines, just a, you know, this massive horde. Oh, none of them are benefiting from her though. Renaissance and industrial era. Ah, okay. My troops need to be a little bit better for her command. Fine, that's okay. We, we'll, 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 we'll be patient. Now we're in a weird little position here. My trade route is in that city. My spy is in this city. And that's the city I want to kill first. And I have very little siege equipment to do it with. I've got some siege equipment, but not a lot. But it is arriving. And okay, yeah, it does a lot of damage. 72 on a strike. I think I'm going to be okay. So let's get the walls of this city down first. Oh, I just pillaged printing. Yes. Oh, that's plus 18 now. Plus 18 combat strength. <laughs> Nobody has printing yet because it's Renaissance era. Oh, that's brilliant. Okay, somebody is actually onto one of these techs. Who is the tech leader still? Gaul, Vietnam. Okay, 30 and 29 techs respectively. I'm on 25. Oh, I am yeah, falling behind a little bit here. There is another little element to this. When we get to modern era merchants, it's a little bit later into the game, there is a plus one level of diplomatic visibility and, and that's like, I really, really want her. We are two eras of merchant away. It's going to take a while, but merchant points, that's something I want a lot of. So here is a choice. What I can do is I could go siege tactics and get Renaissance walls. That would be really handy because it gives me diplo favor and then I could go cavalry which it gives me military academies as well. Like this is a really strong combo for Saivia. Or I can focus on getting steam power and getting railroads. <laughs> These are the questions. These are the questions. I think we are going to first get buttress, then military tactics, then siege tactics. I like tactics. As long as it's got tactic in the title, it's mine. Mausoleum. If I get any great engineers, now they have an extra charge. Now, I built this on one of the river systems, which is technically coast, but I'm hoping this river now gives me some really, really fun yields, which I'm really looking forward to. I'll show you where it is. Hang on. Look at that. Yeah. Oh, there's some fun tiles here. I like this city's a good one. This is a good city. Also, I've been meaning to build an encampment there for so long. I just wanted it next to the Giant's Causeway. Is it pointless? Absolutely, but I love it anyway. Next civic I want. I think I want to go towards enlightenment and nationalism. Yeah, we're going to do that. Humanism time. As I say, I'm pillaging more than I'm getting from my own science. And I think that's still the way to do it. Yeah, settlers, builders, Republican legacy. It's all good. I like this set. This is good. I mean, conscription would save me gold, but again, I'm pillaging so much. It doesn't really matter at the moment, so I'd rather have craftsmen. <laughs> also, look what I can do. I think I can put Angkor Wat there, which will give every single one of my cities. I've got 31 of them an extra population. I could put Forbidden City down. St. Basil's Cathedral. I think I'm going to have a lovely space for Rural Valley on one of those two as well. This is a fun city. This is a fun city. I'm not going to lie. Let's get Forbidden City done. My trebuchets have finally made it to the front line and we are causing chaos now i think what we're going to do is we're going to try and take all three cities on the same turn oh yeah look at that suddenly we're doing damage walls down on that city now we just need to move our troops around and make sure we can take this one at the same time walls down get rid of those walls i'm not entirely sure what cyrus is doing here but they just have a line of units waiting i mean they are technically at war with scythia but I don't like whatever they're doing. I need a couple of turns. I'm still investigating their lands. I'm still sending trade routes. You know, just, just hold off a second. I'm, I'm doing my thing. I'm doing my thing at my speed. Another market. Exactly what I've been looking for. Trade hub alpha. Making it better. Oh, my alliances have run out. Let's have a look at the, I mean, Gilgamesh, I'm really sorry, but you are going to have to be taken out. Arabia, though, Arabia's far enough away that I'm willing to keep friends with them. So we will make friends with you. They don't like Persia. Ooh, you're going to, oh, they don't want a war with Persia. That's a shame. Okay, you were going to get a military alliance, but I don't think I want that with you now. No, you have zero army. Yeah, that, that makes sense. Okay, fair. What about the warlord Gandhi? Do you want a war with Persia? No. Ugh, everyone's boring. Fine, religious alliance. Let's do that instead. Also, we can make peace with other India. That gets rid of a bunch of war weariness for me, which is lovely. 
But yeah, the best thing about taking all this land is the trade deals for luxuries. These are keeping me economically buoyant, the day-to-day -day boring gold that pays for my army's wages. You know, I, all of the actual infrastructure gold, all of the spending gold that I'm using with my economy, that I am stealing. I'm just stealing that from people. But in the meantime, everyone is literally just paying for my crusade, which is brilliant. I feel like this actually, for a game where I've picked crusade, I'm, I'm not spreading the crusade, but it feels very much like a crusade. I'm starting and I'm sort of heading in one direction and going, I will go to the promised land. And in this case, that's Rome and I'm going to build a railway to it. But you know, other than that, it's very similar. By the way, my city is the greatest city. Yay! Although, unbelievably, Trade Hub Alpha is not in the top 10. Dear oh dear oh dear, I don't know if I agree with this. God. Ignore them. Ignore them. It's a, it's, a, it's a slight and they don't know what they're talking about. I think this is the turn to take out Tamiris. You ready? We're gonna do this all together. All as one. Just get our trebuchets to reduce the cities down to zero health. Perfect stuff. And then we'll go a one, a two, and then three. Just like that, Tamiris has been taken out of the game and removed entirely. But I will be remembered, will you? Sorry, what, what was your name again? And because I took them all at the same time, they're all loyal as well. Yay! Okay, Spy, your next job is to go to Persia. Five turns on this one. Yeah, that's pretty good. I can I can wait, but I don't think I'll need to at the beginning of this. We just need to get a trade route going. Oh, also, Samarakand is now my city-state. Okay, that means I can build trading posts. And that means I've got something I can put in the actual desert. Oh, Joy! These trading domes, just a little bit more gold, even if it's just gold. That's all I need on these tiles. Oh, here we go. Barracks. I'm gonna buy the barracks. Does that make a difference to my unit? Where are you? 55 strength. I knew it! I knew it! Oh, thank goodness. Okay, we can buy these units now. 460 faith for a 55 strength unit. To be fair, eh, well, my units are kind of as powerful, but <laughs> maybe that was a bit of an anticlimax. Never mind. One day, one Lay Lahore will be useful. Not not this game, but, but one day. Yeah, we may have triggered quite a few grievances with that fight, but never mind. I feel the entire world is doing that thing where it all denounces me same turn. Ah, oh, this is the absolute worst land to try and put a trade route through. Honestly, it's gonna hold on for one more turn. I don't think this is quite registering right at the moment but I just want to be able to send a trade route there and then off a little bit further I think we should be able to reach that 14 tiles away that's in range surely that's in range I don't know I have no idea really I love these groves oh those are good tiles now very nice yeah so far no luck what I could do is send the trade route to this city and then try and thread the trade route down this way that could work. I think it's worth it. I need to get the trade routes through Persia before I attack them. Otherwise, this is just going to be a pain later. Oh, it's a really good route, though. I mean, fair play. We're generating more trade routes, like, every turn as well, so it's really not a problem. On these larger games, if ever you've wondered what I have to do between turns, you know, all the stuff I cut out, um, it's, it's basically this. I have to go around and just make sure no one's doing anything, because I'm just waiting another turn. <sighs> this is the effort I put into these large TSL games. You're welcome. Remember I have a coffee tip jar. <laughs> okay, the spy has arrived in Gaul. What am I going to do? First of all, we need to gain sources. And then I need to do just anything I can to promote. That's muskets. Oh, I've just realized how far ahead Gaul is. Actually, they're on gunpowder. It's not that far ahead, but still. 55 strength. My knights would struggle against those. Kill bro. How could you? I mean, I am going to kill them, but how could you? You'll never guess where a drought has just been put. <laughs> it's almost getting ridiculous. Oh, if only I had conservation and I could plant like a single forest. Oh, that would stop that. Ooh, I can trade with Georgia now. Okay. That's a way through. I want another trade route down to the south of Persia, so I'm gonna keep looking for a second, but this is, this is an option. Oh, why are Persia's borders so big? I can't see any of their cities. This is so frustrating. Fine, 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 fine. I'm just gonna send it again to this route. Oh, that trader is getting really, really good. That last trade route, 15 production, 12 culture. <laughs> 172 production already, 121 production from outgoing trade routes. Oh yes, 
Don't mind if I do. I built Angkor Wat. I didn't build it in the trading hub in the end because my capital had a better spot and I could build it at the same time as the Forbidden Palace. But one population in all current cities as well as an extra housing means, yeah, that's like 33 or 34 population. Oh, when I finish Forbidden City on the same turn because, you know, I'm brilliant. Also, it's next to Kilwa. How cool is that? That looks really, really awesome. This trading hub is getting good. But that wildcard policy slot, oh lord. Not only does it make me feel super role-playing China, unified China, haha, but I've also got just something else I can put into my government. Like, when you're this isolated from the world, yeah, you need a lot of stuff. So now I think I am going to put natural philosophy back in. Just, I, I like the extra science. It's good for me. And alas, I have not been able to put another trade route into Persia. I honestly have kind of lost the plot now. <laughs> I've tried. I've tried so hard. Ugh, never mind. Okay, I'm going to just keep threading my path across. My regular spy can secret agent or above. I'm pretty sure he's not a secret agent. Nah, just a regular agent. I could do another mission, maybe? But I'm going to listening post just for now. And we're going to go for Persia. I cannot wait any longer. It's slowing me down. Dear, oh dear. I'm just going to try to see if we can get... No, okay, I was going to say if anybody wanted to do a joint war. Nah, really expensively. Okay, we'll do our own thing. That's fair. War of Liberation. Oh, I think that's too comp. No, we'll do it just to get the, the Eureka, but I really am going to end up keeping all of their cities. So it's not real. I mean, I guess it's sort of liberating it when you think about it in a strange way. So it currently has us down as having a plus 18 on them. That is the trade route, the spy, and then also printing. Hey, plus 18 is going to do very nicely. Very nicely indeed. Let's see if I can just steal one of these units. Like, the more units I can get, the better. Yay! I can get that killed as well. And then this one killed. Oh, not quite. Anyway, those were all the troops that were left so kindly on my borders. <laughs> What's going to happen now is that my Kashyyyks are going to just run in and we're going to see if we can neutralize the entire Persian army in one fell swoop. It might be easier than you think, especially if we keep stealing it all. So it's faith income that we get from these Persian upgrades. Okay, faith income. Useful to know, not super, I mean, handy, but what can you do? Oh, do I just take that city and then cash in on my plus six combat strength? I mean, I, I don't really want to give that up for as long as I can. Uh, I'll hold on to it for now. I can continue killing all of the Persian army in the meantime. I've got some really useful units just sort of lurking around, being an absolute pain. So where do I want the trade route to go? I think we, yeah, pretty much all of the routes have to go through this city. So that's where we're going to start. And then once we're over there, I think the route can head back towards Potti like that. Oh no, it's actually going to go via the other route. Uh, okay, that's fine. But this, this is a good thing for me. Although actually, if I do attack Georgia, am I going to attack Georgia? Ah, oh, Georgia are always such a pain with their unique renaissance walls. I don't know if I can be bothered. Uh, I'll send Caspia route just in case. Just in case. Okay, so we've got them covered now. As mentioned before, I'm just putting these little stickers down, these little pins, so I remember where I have put down my trading hubs. Oh, look, a major drought appeared just as the last one finished. I think that is the sixth drought that has hit this one spot. Like... I get that droughts focus on areas where in a map there's not many other spaces for a drought available, but this map is huge. How is this the only space? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Oh, 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 look at that though. Those are Byzantium trade routes. Let's have a look and see where we can go now. So that is sending the trade route along this line. Interesting. Okay, well, I think... Sipa might be a really good space for a trade route because that sort of sends it across there. It means we have a route just behind the enemy lines and yeah, no, that's really cool. So that's Gilgamesh sorted. And then after that one, I would love it 
if we could get one with Dido, but I'm at war with Dido still, so I can't do that right now, but I could make peace with Dido briefly. Yeah, let's do that. I know I'm in an emergency with them, but I mean, honestly. So that'll need a turn before it can register that we're out of war, but I was thinking of putting one down on this city. So in terms of Byzantium, I guess if I put a city over, like a, a trade route to this one, or maybe the one up there, that could be quite handy. Sort of sends it in a funny old way, but that's going to be a very unlikely city for me to attack. So yeah, that's what I'm looking for, is it's not the actual usefulness of the trade route. It's whether or not I'm likely to take that city over. And I'm very unlikely to take that city over, so that's good. I'm just going to take this city now. There's a couple of mines I haven't pillaged, but as I say, speed is of the essence. And I haven't taken a city for a while, so I've missed out on that beautiful 20% production in every city. It really is a lot of production. In fact, if we just have a quick look at the Trade Hub Alpha, oh yeah, 212 production, and that's with a minus 10 amenity modifier. 84% chance of Formant and Rest. Oh yeah, perfect. Okay, six turns, and hopefully we'll get our first promotion on that spy. My next trade route, yeah, I think this one down in Dido's land, Anuk. Just offers more options, more possibilities. God, these routes are so good. Yep, fair play. We're just investigating out. Going to explore. 12 culture per turn. Oh, what a, what a route. It's amazing how effective just regular Kashyyyks are at city attacks. My minus 17 from using an archer to attack a city is being totally replaced by the plus 18 I'm getting from my Mongolia ability. So we're doing serious damage. Like, really, really good damage here. I think I'm gonna just leave Tarsus alone for as long as I can. Keep the trade route in there. But that's this city taken as well. Beautiful. Two loyal cities. And we'll just have a look. How many cities have they got? Nine cities left. How many can I see? One, two, three. Okay, there's a bunch more to the south that I can't see. Because I don't need to take them all, but it is tempting because they, you know, are pillageable. You know, I still don't know whether or not I made the right choice going for the intelligence agency over the Grandmaster's Chapel. I mean, having this extra spy is really handy and I'm leveling him up and that's all fine, but I've got like 4,000 spare faith and nothing to do with it at the moment. It is crazy. Oh, Tarsus put walls up. That's quite cute, actually. Military emergency. Oh dear. Well, it was going to happen at some point. The world has realised that I own pretty much the entire eastern half of the map apart from India and Indonesia. So, yeah, you'd expect this emergency to come at some point. Oh, it's literally just... Oh my goodness, so many people said no to it. It's just Persia that went in for it. Now, that's unfortunate for them. Byzantium, though, is at war with the world. Oh, go Byzantium, go, yes. Oh, they've been conquering. I love it. You love to see it. Right, Persia's problem, okay? Persia's problem is that I was actually going to make peace with them. I didn't need all of these cities. Like, I've now got access into Turkey, so I can just move my units through to Samaria, but no. But no, they have decided to make an emergency with me, so they're not going to take peace from this point onwards. And, well, that's unfortunate for everyone, because now I'm going to have to kill them. You have to admire it in some way and sort of shake your head in another way, but what are you going to do? Still pillaging, still getting most of my yields from pillages at the moment. Another city taken to the north of Persia as well. This has given me a much more stable front with them. Rebellion in three turns, they or Okay, that's because we're suddenly really close to the capital. Victor, I'm going to need you to move over now. We're going to have to be taking over that capital rather quickly now. You see this army? You see Hungary's army? Look at the size of that. You know the worrying thing? Rome has a bigger army. <laughs> and it's bigger than mine. Uh, okay, some, something died at some point, but what it was, we're not entirely sure. Oh, these trebuchets are still effective. That's 83 strength. Oh, yes. That's the sort of hit you want to see. Finally, we're finally getting actual trebuchets to the front line, and I cannot tell you how excited I am. We're still getting a lot of tasty groves. Oh, look at those towers. They're really nice. They're helping me to get more commercial hubs. More commercial hubs mean more trade routes. Look, another preserve over there as well. Oh, yeah, lovely. All of the trade routes, please. The best bit as well is that every time I declare war on somebody, I get to re, like, set all of the trade routes that I, uh, you know, had at the person that I'm now at war with. Which means I can just send all the trade routes even further. Like, every time, I'm sort of, 
my trade routes are up to this point, and then I declare war on Byzantium, and then now my trade routes are up on this point, and then I declare war on Hungary, and then suddenly it's this point. It, this, this is a problem. This I'm not entirely sure I know what I'm going to do with right now. <laughs> that's, that's something we're not talking about. And finally, a very special shout out goes to Glorious Petra, I am Salty Tech, Matthew Wilkinson, Paul Coffey, Doughboy91, Sean Critties, Portland, Scott Stratton, Major King Kong, Davalek, Skeptical Bear, Kroger Brand Trail Mix, Alex Noob, Cinnamon Beard, Petra Ryan, Matthew Hatch, Amiri C, Henry, Rom88, Radiatore, Private Selection, Genoa Salami, Boy Zorro, Callum Billy, Garrett Gowan, Polar Bear Ray, El Truand, Creston, RB Hedge, Mushkin Mandeltort, Esri Dax. Thank you for all of your support. Cheers!